Hey guys, Spartan here from SpartanTrading.com. I want to hit you guys with another trade review today. Um, and in this video, I want to talk about a trade that I like to take uh, typically a few times a week if there's some momentum behind it. But basically, it's a news-driven momentum trade that I like to trade in the short term overnight. So I'll show you kind of what I look for, the reason behind it. Um, but I basically want to just talk about this one here. So this one was Big C. So Big C basically on the daily chart, let's just quickly take a look at this. Oops. Big C on the daily chart. We can see that obviously it broke out of the recent range high, continued to go higher. This is a recent IPO name. Um, so what I look for on this type of a trade is this. Now, when we get news coming out on anything and we get momentum behind it, especially volume that is larger than the the float of that stock, you tend to get continuation the next day. So if you get a float rotation, aka enough volume that trades the entire float. So if the float in this case was 13 million, you have like 14 or 15 million on a volume on the day. I call it a float rotation or enough volume to trade the entire float. You tend to see continuation on these types of plays higher. It's a significant amount of volume. So Big C, basically news came out yesterday on the stock about uh, a deal where they would be the checkout for Instagram. Obviously that's huge because that gives them access to a ton of different clients and a ton of clients in general, just numbers wise. So basically the news came out on Big C. I took some long at uh, 90 bucks. So you can see 90 bucks, 90, um, 91, 91.43 added full size. I was scaling out um, intraday a little bit, 96 area, it pulled back a little bit more. It sold a little bit more at 95.90. At the end of the day, I saw volume coming in, so I added back full size, and I decided to swing the play. So it closed out near the highs on volume with news. That's an indication to hold something overnight. As it was moving up overnight, I sold a little bit in the uh, after hours and then in the pre-market today as it started to look a little bit weak, and I was holding about one half of the entire position still. As the uh, market opened up, it started to push up again. My price target right from out the gate, and if you guys follow me on Twitter, I said, okay, I see, and I said this yesterday, I see big C in the 120s. So I was looking for 120s out the gate if it started to push, which it did. If it ended up breaking this pre-market low, it would have ended up selling most of the position, if not all of it. Um, anyways, so it started to push up to the upside here. Uh, continuation higher. It had this little bit of a pop and then a pullback intraday where it formed a flag. I was just continuing to be patient. What I started to do was actually check out the name on the hourly and just watch it on the hourly. Typically, what I like to do on these swing trades is I flip to a bigger time frame after the original day. So I'll go from 10 to hourly in this case, and I watch it there. And if it holds up on the hourly, I'm gonna to continue to hold my position. Um, what we see here is continuation higher after it broke the, um, the flag to the upside. I ended up selling some at the uh, 144.94 level where I only have one eighth of the position left. So I took off a majority of it, and I figured that's a little bit too much to take off, so I added back another quarter almost immediately after, just because it was holding up on the hourly flag. Reason for getting out here as well was it was a little bit extended on that hourly into one of my resistance areas, which was around 148, which again, if you followed me on Twitter, you would have saw. Um, but overall, you know, I'm looking for another day in this. We'll see what happens. My stop's in the money. Um, but overall, like I said, this is a good example of a continuation play um, momentum driven by news that had a ton of different range. I mean, overall the trade was 90 bucks to uh, 145 on the majority of it. So, you know, 55, let's call it a $54 move to the upside, almost a 50% move on, well, more actually 50. So, you know, you can get yourself into these opportunities that you get a ton of continuation on and you know, if they do pan out, they can really pay pay you big time the next day. And this is just a good example of that. This strategy of looking to trade something or hold it if it closes out strong and it's traded the float that day works well and very well on mid caps and low float stocks as well. So just something to keep in mind. Anyways, just want to talk about this little trade review for you guys. Quick little video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, um, feel free to, you know, give us a follow on Twitter, YouTube, whatever. You can go to our website, SpartanTrading.com as well if you have any questions. Thanks guys for watching and I'll talk to you soon.